best thing to do pag feel mo hindi na talaga mag-work kahit ipilit mo pa. The best thing to do is to be like Elsa. Let it go. Seriously, um, because if you have to force things, I think it's not for you. So, as you've said, it's not gonna work out. So, you ask yourself, what's keeping you from leaving? Is it because of love? Because love doesn't keep you where you don't belong. Or maybe you're just scared and afraid about what's behind that, that door, that wake-up door. And it's okay. It's normal to be afraid, you know. Sometimes we date out of loneliness because there is a comfort blanket in that. We date this person because it feels safe. Like, like I'd rather have this person, even if it's unhealthy, than be alone and face the consequences and the reality and the fears. It's a totally understandable situation. But at the same time, it's not a healthy situation to be in because you're preventing yourself from moving forward from from growth or from the person that you're you're meant to be with so yeah you have to let it go the quicker you cut it off the quicker you move forward the, the quicker you're gonna heal and process and meet the person that god has intended for you i know sometimes it's so easy to just run back to that because you're comfortable and you know each other and stuff like that but you have to be okay in letting go it doesn't seem like a healthy relationship you said it's not gonna work out so it's gonna be hard but in the end i believe it's gonna be worth it you just have to have people surrounding you that will help you not to run back to that and will just help you to move forward so how do you heal a broken heart for me, feeling the pain is the first step toward healing the pain. The longer you avoid the feeling, the more you're gonna delay your healing. You can numb it, you can ignore it, or you can pretend that it doesn't exist. But after all those options, it's gonna end up to an eventual breakdown, not a breakthrough. So imagine that pain like a warning lights a car. It comes on to indicate that there is something wrong, right? So you can deny it. You can ignore it, you can assume that it's just a glitch, or you can even ask the mechanic to turn off that annoying little light. But if he's a good mechanic, he's gonna tell you that it's foolish to not pay attention to it because that light isn't there to annoy you, but it's actually there to protect you. So walk through it, it's gonna be painful, I know, it's gonna be hard. If you wanna cry, go ahead, cry. You don't have to fake it till you make it. So just remember that if God puts you to it, He'll get you through it. 